What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Horizon Forbidden West. We are finally going to do the final mission today. I'm so excited. So let's jump into it. I don't know how long this one's gonna be. It might be a two-parter. I don't know how long the mission is, so let's go find out. Also, I mean, look at this outfit. I I dyed it. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> it's perfect now. This is definitely the outfit that I'm gonna make. We okay, guys. He's just gonna be standing. Aloy, you Aww. think we can talk? Oh, why she gotta see that? Yes, definitely. Aloy, you came back with some interesting friends. Yes, I wish did. Wish I could say we don't <laughs> need them, but Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Even Regala. Yeah, enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. Oh, before I forget, here, something to commemorate our mission. No. We did good together. Yeah, we did. Cute. Let's talk about. You uh, talk to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. I hope so. Let's hope. Yeah. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, Catalo uh, tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bulks trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't Aww. worry. You'll be getting all the fun <laughs> you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping you'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? <laughs> after everything he's done? <laughs> sure. Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. I'm with Aaron on this one. I better <laughs> get going. Oh, you know where to find me. What up, so... Aloy, it appears that we have some interesting new guests. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a sunwing. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> next time. I'll do it next time. Don't worry. Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal. Bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's that's very interesting. <laughs> that's a very interesting descriptor. Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. I just hope that she doesn't betray us. Have you talked to any of our new friends? Aaron and I tried speaking to Silence, but apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Mm. Charming, isn't he? Lovely. <laughs> How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. Mm. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. No. Anything interesting happen while I was away? Aaron told us how you tracked down the Asaram supplying Regala with machines. In fact, he's quite I adamant well. about relating the tale at least twice a day. <laughs> oh but I can tell it meant a lot that you asked for his help. I wouldn't have been able to track them down if it wasn't for him. No. <laughs> I have to go. I trust you to keep things civil around here. I'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch Silence in the face, if that's what <laughs> you mean. Thanks. Oh no. Aloy, do you have a moment? I do. You... you flew? Cotalo told me! And took out Regala's machines? Oh, you know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. <laughs> I saw we have visitors... and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. Guess we'll find out. 
Oh, and I wanted to give you this. For helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alva. I'll put it to good use. I wonder what she gave me. I suppose you saw that Tilda is here. Our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. Yeah, I don't know if I'm scared that. of finding out more uncomfortable truths, or just scared of her. Probably both. How old would she be? Like a thousand something? Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the ancestors. The overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons, but Pharaoh wasn't, not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. I think I've heard this one. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed, just to erase his- So, yeah. when we learned that Eileen had a hand ah. in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. It never is. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish Morquen could see that, instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. No. You sure you're okay going on this mission? I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. Uh, I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command, too? <laughs> Guess the more the merrier. Are you okay? I was wondering, is it really safe having someone like Regala here? She seems angry. The kind of angry that leads to murdering people in their sleep. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to point that anger in the right direction. The Zeniths. If you say so. I hope our new guests have been behaving. The silence. He's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith shields? He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. <laughs> you know that special part of us that makes God. us warm, kind, welcoming? <laughs> Our spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. <laughs> Yeah, I love how Aloy just rose silence. There was like a roast that he, she said before about him. For some reason, I just didn't catch it at first. I think it was when she walked through the door or something. I don't even remember when it was, but <laughs> I remember I was editing. I was like, oh my god. I was like, why is that? <laughs> Hearing that a second time was way better. It was so funny. <laughs> I need to wrap up a few things, but stay sharp. I'll be ready when you call. Dun dun dun. Okay. So where is everyone else hiding then, huh? Where are all of them? Oh, I was wondering if I have the stuff for this. Did you need something? You would be in here. <laughs> Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? No. Not a chance. Yeah, yeah, no. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Actually, I was here to... Since when were you so forthcoming? <laughs> Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seems you have found modest success, 
Perhaps I'm willing to be generous. Mm-hmm. While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quen. The tribe from across the ocean. And? Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shields. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those run-ins with the Quinn I mentioned. On one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. Silence about Hades. You have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain. <laughs> Probably. Like what you did with Hades. <laughs> For a start. But it would be okay with me on that one. Tell me I, about I'd the be weapon. on board with that. How does it work? I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave-like effect covering a significant distance. Interesting. That doesn't fully answer my question. No, so, but I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes, even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine. He's been nuke. When we were in the DLC in Zero Dawn, the uh, those things that kept popping on the ground, I forget what they were called, but when I had that shield suit on, that kind of looked similar to their shield suit, it would get rid of it. So I wonder if it works like that, and for a limited time, I'll be able to attack. Okay, so your big plan, everything you've been manipulating for the last few months, let me see if I got this straight. You learned about the Zenith from Hades when you interrogated it. Then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakh to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question or are you still playing catch up? So all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be... extreme. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice no matter how necessary. Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation. At the Hades Proving Lab. You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset. Thereby keeping you out of harm's way, and more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with Akarja. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier? Yes. Exceedingly so. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakht. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I needed. Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a Sarah to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. My time serving Hades in the Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the Sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans. All while remaining anonymous. Except to a Sarah. How did you get a Sarah to work for you? 
I knew there was an associate of the Osaram Tinker, Durval, who escaped his failed assault on Meridian. It was trivial to track her down and gain her cooperation. She wanted to succeed where Durval had failed. So you promised yeah, her Regala and the Tanakh. The Sarah would help you create a machine writing army and wanted to see Meridian burn as much as she did. And so a partnership was born out of thirst for blood, bonded in mutual self-interest. You think you had everything figured out, huh? I did. If you didn't do the bandit camps, would you not have that dialogue? Because <laughs> that's all technically optional, I guess. Oh, I guess maybe it's not, but it seems optional because I never had to do it as a main quest. All right, Silence. I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities, well, your goals may be aligned now. But I'd watch for the moment they diverge. I kind of agree with him. For yeah, that. I'm aware. Yeah, Remember exactly. Someone else I know. Exactly. Survival <laughs> is only a necessity to my greater purpose. Aloy. That's why I'd I have trust problems. By now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, just call it a feeling. <laughs> oh, yeah, a feeling. feeling I have too. You mean you finally had one? <laughs> huh? Guess even you can change silence. Oh, <laughs> uh, I didn't know he was in. He would be in here. <laughs> it makes sense. There he is. I'm actually curious of what. Oh, what's all this? Oh, it's his arm. I see you've got your new arm ready to go. Yes. It still feels strange. I've gotten used to the absence, but no matter. I'm sure I will need it before the attack on the Zenith base is through. Haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten, and paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am... <sighs> inspired. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. Ooh. Your people keep mentioning the Wings of the Ten. What exactly does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky <laughs> for us. So I guess I was to like imitate that. This feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. It is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. And now, you have done it. Like the deeds of the Ten themselves, it will never be forgotten. No. <laughs> so, tell me, how did it feel? I won't lie, pretty good. I can only imagine. No. Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that doesn't seem natural. I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised if my sword went through her and. And she didn't bleed at all. Honestly, like I said, her, they all have that feeling. Nothing would surprise me. And I'll say true. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, look how it went wrong with Ted. But what did they do differently? You know, I'm really curious. I would love to learn more about all of that and them. Things will get ugly once the Zenus realize we're in their base. You'll need every trick you'll you'll you ever learn. Learned. I would have it no other way. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we stood here today. We will endure on their behalf. Though, I am curious how you intend to defeat the Zenith's defenses without an army of our own. Leave that to me. Just make sure you're ready to fight. As you say. You have more than earned my trust. Look, I know you're probably not happy about keeping Regala around. But I want her on our side when we fight the Zeniths. It is more than she deserves. Even so, I will <laughs> not question your judgment. Thank you, Katalo. 
Anything new going on I should know about? The Quen has been more insistent than usual, asking about the visions at the Grove. <laughs> her pursuit of knowledge is relentless. The Ten would have a hard time fighting her off. Just think of her like one of your chaplains. Yes. Only more persistent. <laughs> Sounds like you're having Did a great tell time. Did you you found the people who gave Regala's rebels the power to override machines? He told me of the battle. I suggested he etch this victory on his fighting arm with one of our inkers. Is he going to do it? He didn't say no. Hmm. Interesting. That'd I be have cool. to go. <laughs> but I'll be briefing everyone on the plan soon. Understood. Do you guys have tattoos? I don't have a tattoo, but I, I've been thinking of getting one. But I've also said that I've been thinking of getting one for like four years and it hasn't happened yet, so. <laughs> but I also hate needles. That might play a part in it. I really need to figure out the this door combination. So we're just going to run through and see if we missed anything <laughs> that I could have possibly gotten. I read this again. See, like maybe I should write down any numbers I see. Dude, that might take forever though. Jesus. Oh, there's a nine in that one. Maybe there's something I missed though. Hmm. What? Hey, Aaron. Yeah. I was thinking we could spar for a bit. When you have the time. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. Hmm. Okay, let's go back into here, maybe? Where's that other door? I don't remember anymore. Oh! Wait, what? I've opened that vent before. Who closed it? Who's going around repairing shit, huh? <laughs> my heart. They stole my Gaia. Oh? This place smells wrong. No sand or wind, only cold steel. And the others up there, your squad. They can hold their own. As for this base, it may not be what you're used to, but it is a shelter. Call it what it is, a cage. You came here on your own. For the battle you promised. So for now I wait in my cage for your word. Tell me when to strike. It is a cool weapon. The deal you made. Override tech in exchange for an assault on the Zenith base. How did Silence approach you? That name means nothing to me. My agreement was with the Asarama Sarah and her sons of Prometheus. Mm. So all this time, you didn't even know who you were really dealing with? And you trusted an outlander? If it was a trick, I would have crushed her. But she spoke with the same burning hatred for the Karja. And she offered me the chance to run them down with machines. The terror in your enemy's eyes when they see you charge. You know what I'm talking about. I bet you felt it. I don't think so. Only Nils allowed to talk to me like that. What about your end of the deal? Excuse you. Would you have honored it? Had I killed Akaro and become chief, these Zeniths would have been the first of the tribe's victories. But because of you, my people will continue to consort with the enemy. A tribe of weaklings. <laughs> because of me? Hundreds of Tanakhs won't throw away their lives in a battle they can't win. <laughs> Are you really going to fight alongside me? I have no reason to betray you. Really? <laughs> I failed <laughs> to kill Hakaro. Failed to eliminate you. No Tanakh would follow me now. The Karja remain out of my reach, cowering behind their walls. All I have left are the screens of those long dead and unending rage. So show me where to bury it. The whole time I've been in the West, 
I've been fighting you and your rebels. I'd at least like to know why. You were among the enemy. What more is there to know? Why did you do it? Dorok, Jiroka, Makalo, and the Karja pushed into the desert to raid our people. My brother's squad was among the first to intercept them. But the Karja captured them, strung them up, and burned them alive as an example. It was too late. I found them by the sound of their screams. So you wanted vengeance? Vengeance? No. I wanted devastation. To tear down the Karja's cities and drown the land in blood. Hunt down every last survivor and grind their bones until the sky chokes on the dust. But my chief betrayed me. Betrayed the Tanakh. Mm hmm. How did Hikaro betray you? Hikaro called on the clans to resist the Karja's red raids. But we did more than just defend. We hunted them. And they fled as children before a pack of claw striders all the way to their border. There we ripped down their stone walls. Their domain was ours for the taking. But when it came time to push on, Hakaro ordered us to fall back. What soldier retreats when slaughter is at hand? The kind who wants peace for their people. Peace is just a lull between vendettas. But I thought my chief had greater tactics in mind, so I stood by him, even when he allowed that filthy Karja to join our ranks. Fashav. I enjoyed watching him die at the embassy. He should have been put down when we first captured him on the field. Instead, Hikaro made him a marshal. Fashav told me how he became a marshal. He earned it just like any Tanakh. It was an insult. No outlander can ever deserve to wear our armor, bear our marks. And then Akarja messenger was brought before us? That's when I knew. I had to run my blade through Akaru and drag his treacherous corpse to the gates of the sun. What happened when the Karja messenger appeared before Hikaro? A quivering priest bore a message from their new king. No more war. No more raids. Suddenly the Karja wanted to talk peace. An embassy at the very fortress we tore down. A true Danak would never take a Karja truce. Their blood exists to be spilled. But Hikaro lapped up the priest's message. He showed himself a Karja-loving traitor when he accepted. That's when I challenged him. And lost. His mercy was <laughs> just another sign of his weakness. I vowed never to rest until the debt was repaid. With him on his knees before me. So with an army of soldiers and machines at my back, I returned. The day you got in my way. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll both face the end soon enough. Ever since you got in my way, I've wanted to see your bones burned white beneath the sun. But if I'm to die in battle, then it might as well be with the one who flew with the wings of the ten. I'll let you know when it's time to move out. She is very, very angry. All the time. <laughs> That's what I've gathered. Oh, I guess this pays things. Oh, no. Oh. On the Regional Control Center. The more I read up on the Regional Control Center, the more I appreciate the immense amount of planning that went into Project Zero Dawn. But one aspect of this facility has me puzzled. 
why pre-design it? God was more than equipped to imagine the needs of future humans. Wait, have I read this one? When I work on the hypothesis, the answer may be the simplest. Sentimentality. Combining, co combing through the facility's files led to discovering an audio log. Severely corrupted, like a consequence of Minerva's occupation. I only managed to extract a fragment. August was only eight when the swarm broke out. He was in Singapore, staying with his mom. I should have gone. I should have done a lot of things differently. A log from the facility's designer, perhaps. I suspect it may have something to do with the locked door tucked away behind the maintenance shaft, but I am disinclined to pursue the matter further at this time. Alo and Gaia want me to help build the transport rig and pulse generators for their trip to Gemini, so I must direct all of my attention to that. I hope it's not pointless endeavor. It all depends on whether Aloy can procure Ted Farrow's Omega clearance, which frankly feels like a long shot. So, August was only eight. So, August 808, maybe? <laughs> this is such a long shot. Um. Oh, maybe. Let's see. Time to read through all of these. Six two six, so nine. So this one had the number nine. This one has six two six. Eleven more weeks. <laughs> this is not gonna work. <laughs> oh god, there's way too numbers on way too many numbers on this one. Okay, I mean, we could go try. <laughs> oh, wait, let me read this one really quick. Oh. Hey, boy. Oh. If you were listening to this, then, um, things didn't go as planned. I'm coming for you. I know you'll keep your promise. Which means I must be dead. No. Well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? But a uh, lot's happened since you found me in that ectogenic chamber. Thank you, Aloy. You've been... my shelter. And I would risk it all again. No, to be by your side. My heart. I know you'll find a way forward. Not find a way to That's what you me. do. I'm sorry, Beta. But I'm getting you back. No matter what it takes. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. God. Ugh, oh, my heart. Oh, yeah, this room. The question is, where is the other one? Must be in here. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Wait, what's in that one again? Okay, let's go try the combo. I can't, I can't even remember how many I needed. Okay, so wait. Shit. Uh, short memory. <laughs> it was nine, six to six, eleven. Six, two, six, eleven. Shit, there's another number. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Unless I should do. No, because I didn't do. I could do eight since 
he was only eight. Let me see. Because I was in this one. He was only eight when the swarm broke out. Maybe eight? Let's try it. There. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> if not, I was just gonna go one to one to nine. <laughs> what is this place? Oh shit. Oh. So yeah, I told the rest of the team. I was standing in the cafeteria, trying to pick out a god-awful meal cartridge when it suddenly hit me. Every school field trip, August always asked me to pack extra in his lunch pack so that he could share it with his friends. I, I don't know how I was lucky enough to end up with kids so generous. And I know he'd want to share this too, so to uh, whoever finds this place. This was us. Oops. The last time I spoke to Leanna, they were just about to ship out to the Pacific Front. They really believed that if they could buy us some time, it'd be worth it. That Zero Dawn would save us. But if you were listening to this, then they were right. It was worth it. Mm -hmm. Their name was Leanna Jensen. Ninth Civilian Guard Brigade for Operation Enduring Victory. And they were so, so brave. Do, do I see it now? No. Okay. <laughs> My name is Emma Irving, and I'm eight years old. And my favorite animal is a fox. <laughs> Do you have foxes in the future? I hope so. They're the cutest. And super smart. That's the way have to go underground soon. She's like a fox. And then the bad robots won't get us. So, I guess this is H and G. Hi and goodbye. <laughs> oh, my heart. The day I was supposed to meet my sister's new baby, a vert swooped in and a crew of mass commandos threw a bag over my head. Next thing I knew, I was being told how the world would end and given a choice. Die now or help Zero Dawn and die later. At least Nicole, Ella, and baby Aiden will be safe in Elysium. Gave up my allotment to make sure they could stay together. I don't know if any of this will actually work. Zero Dawn, cradle-raised humans. But if it does, do better than we did, okay? Trying. Got to be honest, I don't really know what to say to the future. So I guess I'll say something to the past instead. Mm. Mom, Dad, I know you'll never hear this, but I wanted to say thank you. Mm. For all those times you dragged me along as a kid to volunteer at Hot Zone Relief Centers. You used to say, you have to pay it forward. The future <laughs> will always be brighter for it. I'm trying to live up to your example. I love you. We'll be together again soon. No. <laughs> so cute. Aw, oh, I really like that. Why is it making me cry? Oh, that was so cute. At least I finally got in there. Jesus. I've been trying to get in there for so long. I'm like, what am I missing <laughs> still? <laughs> it's been so long. Let me in. Okay. Now. Hey, what's in here again? Oh, it's there. Yeah. Okay. I gotta find uh, Tilda. I don't know where she is. Tilda? I'm uh, gonna clean my gear later. I can do yours if you want. Mm. Yeah, of course. Don't mention it. So, you return. 
Yeah, just to walk out on you, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm just peeking in. Don't mind me. Tilda? Tilda. <laughs> Have you seen Tilda around? Where is she? Is she in where Gaia? Oh! There you are. I found her. Hmm. Well done, Aloy. Despite my reservations, you managed to secure Silens and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of Liz's fortitude. I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for a time. Mm. Okay, so... What happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk. An exchange of ideas, but... Then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way. That'd be so weird to have the clone. That's she so had lost weird. her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did. No wonder it felt wrong. But as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less when I wanted more. And so we ended things. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what? A, a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon. I knew I had to help you. To do right by her. Mm. You said before that you're not like the other Zeniths. That you never were. But you went along with all of their plans. Out of necessity. I'm not proud of it. But complicity became a means of survival, both when Earth was consumed and when the colony on Sirius was destroyed. I did what I had to, but I resolved to remain one step ahead of the others to try to undo what damage I could, hence the data channel with Beta. The secret passage into their base and the little trick I pulled to save you. Why did you make the data channel look like your house? I built that house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place, not just for me, but for the art stored in its depths. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical yeah, data being that. drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. Yes. She needed its shelter even more than I did. Are these the same? I think these are the same. We'll see. Why do you think Elizabeth pulled away? I've wondered that for a thousand years. She was brilliant, visionary. She cared so deeply for the world, for the betterment of humanity. But it also felt like she kept everyone at arm's length, including me. She never wanted to share her burdens. Yeah, I've heard I this. think 
In the end, she had... Sometimes I wonder if anyone really knew her. I found a recording of you and Elizabeth back in the Proving Lab after Farzineth's attempt to steal Gaia. Yes. A most unpleasant conversation. She said something after the call. I think she regretted how things ended between you. Did she? Hmm. All this time, thank you for telling me. I've always hated that those were the last words we ever said to each other. And that her last impression of me was as a functionary of Far Zenith, not who I truly am. When it's time to break into the Zenith base, what can we expect? I'll go over the full layout once you've assembled your friends. Suffice it to say, we will need to push as fast as possible to Beta and Gaia's location, dealing with heavy resistance along the way. There are also printing facilities where the others have been amassing the natural resources they've stripped from the region. What for? First for use in the base's infrastructure, and then to fabricate more Spectre drones, a small army of them. When I was out in the wilds, I saw a shuttle take off from the island, heading for space. It was likely ferrying materials to and from our ship in orbit. After mm. hundreds of years luxuriating in our digital comforts, the ship was barely space worthy when we made our escape. Disaster can strike at any moment we've learned our lesson. Have you figured out how Silence's weapon works? No. And he's been very careful not to allow me near it. I'll admit it bothers me, but regardless of how it functions, I am confident it will deactivate the other shields en masse. How many of them are in the base? Ten, including Eric and Gerard. Only means a it'll handful of us take made it to our ship too. when our colony collapsed. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So, Eric, was he always a bloodthirsty psychopath? Good question. I believe he got worse over time. <laughs> On Earth, he was the founder of a profitable private military company. A band of cutthroats, in other words. Even as governments abandoned human combatants in favor of automated warfare. He found success with clientele that required a more personal touch. There were also rumors that he personally hunted and killed his targets. On occasion, all for the thrill of it. Hmm. But on Sirius, he retreated to virtual reality simulations. In them, he could go on rampages as violent as he pleased, though I suspect with diminishing satisfaction. All of us tribe believes he was one of the greatest people from the old world. Yep. <laughs> then they would be quite disappointed to meet him. Though I'm sure he'd bask in the adoration. <laughs> what can you tell me about Gerard? He was the head of the world's largest financial conglomerate, and as such had dealings with almost every major corporation. It made him one of the wealthiest people on Earth, and certainly the wealthiest among Farzineth. What does one person do with that much money? Buy more, more power, more influence. Gerard's always believed himself to be a refined patrician, able to maintain control with a polished smile. But beneath that exterior is a cold and calculating operator. It was his decision to restrict Beta's upbringing to her digital educators, the avatars of the Apollo database, while we were painted as her benefactors. Well, we'll deal with him soon enough. And the others. I would very much like to see his face when he realizes we've beaten him. <laughs> when I was in the ruins of Vegas, I found data on a man named Stanley Chen. I think he was a Zenith. Stanley, ever the optimist. He was one of the good ones. When we established our colony, he built an exact replica of Las Vegas in virtual reality. Lights, shows, gambling, every detail perfectly recreated. And while others cloistered themselves in their own fantasies, he flung his doors wide to everyone. The way you're talking about him, I'm guessing he didn't make it back to Earth? No, he perished. 
when our colony was destroyed. Hmm. He would have been thrilled to discover that part of his beloved city survived. I think he'd be more happy to see that people are loving it again. When Beta escaped and hid in an ancient research facility, I saw another one of the Zeniths for Bena. Who was she? A dull star amidst a sea of brighter constellations. <laughs> Unlike Oof. most of Far Zenith's members who amass their wealth through shrewd business deals and technological achievements, Verbena inherited her billions. Her father had achieved great success in the luxury holotourism industry. At age 24, she became the world's most eligible bachelorette, branding herself a life designer. Someone who leverages their fame to influence the choice of others. What, like a cult? In a way, yes. Well, she must have done something right to have survived this long. She was her own brand of ruthless. That much is true. But even rats can cling to a vessel for escape. Okay, so I've had run-ins with a handful of Zeniths. What about the rest? An array of the wealthiest people on Earth. Titans of their industries. And let me guess, all selfish and ruthless to the core? Most, but not all. There were a few with whom I got along. Annika Merjani, for instance, was always delightful. She founded the Holonet's most successful dance channel and was herself mesmerizing to watch. And I had fascinating discussions with Song Jiao about her work in cellular biology. Our immortality treatments are due in part to her achievements. But then there were others like Devin Miller, the CEO of a fast food printing corporation. His only real preoccupations were perfecting his golf swing and taking self hollows. When I think about all of us, we really should have accomplished more. We had eternity. Can you imagine living that long? Okay. I'll let you know when it's time. I'll be here until then. It is time. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I won't let anything. I wonder how they keep it up, though. I promise you that. Like the, the health, I guess, or their lives. It is time, everyone. Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. It is. But is there anything I should handle before that? Nope. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm so All excited. Right, people. I need you up in the control and this room outfit right looks away. good. It looked good before, and now it looks even better with the new dyes that I added. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda? Show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. <laughs> The launch tower. They just, they both don't trust Gaia each other. and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also. Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones mm. scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. 
You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You two? A minute? Hmm. Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Mm-hmm. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? I agree. On my life. <laughs> now she can ask him all the questions that she's wanted to know. It kind of looks like a skull, doesn't it? Uh, before <laughs> we get there. On the way there. He won't be able to escape it. <laughs> Time to talk to everyone again. We. Remember, you guys ready? We need to get Silent's weapon to the Zenith base intact if we want to take their shields down. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. <laughs> Faro made the right call, you know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to the Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink, just one, mind you. And we talked about family, Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge, how you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got round to it. World ending and all. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. <laughs> oh, you can! Oh my god. <laughs> if that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know? Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. <laughs> you saved my butt a couple of times now. It wouldn't feel right to leave. That'd be me. <laughs> you know, besides, it uh, it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. <laughs> Aloy just stomping on all of them. That silence gets over. I'd be like Aaron, <coughs> attached to it. You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> God damn, that's a big ass so, cup. Jesus. How did Ursa escape One the drink, Sun King Jeron's palace? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. 
you know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was gonna appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! <laughs> and when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. Yeah, she defeated all of them. They even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed mm -hmm. it, humiliating her that way. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but, but what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so... He got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. And you have perfumes, veils and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. <laughs> oh man, Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands <laughs> than put on all of that Karja eye paint. But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. <laughs> she made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a babe. <laughs> Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. That would uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, I worked like a charm too. Not only <laughs> did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border and none were the wiser. Oh my God. Aww. Aww, it was cute. <laughs> you were right. There was a story best told over a drink. All good stories are. <laughs> oh, I cute. guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. That's so adorable. <laughs> Hi, Zo. I'm here. I hope everybody's ready for this. Fighting the Zeniths isn't going to be easy. Aloy. Nothing you do ever is. At True. least now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music, but he did apologize for mocking my tribe. <laughs> and that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. <laughs> I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. Everyone here, training, working together. If it weren't for Varl, none of it would have happened. You know, there was this one night, right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini. He realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about the mission. To be honest, I think we both were. So. He asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there, just looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. Mm -hmm. I should go. I love so. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. You better not. For the both of us. So... Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? <laughs> mm. You nervous? 
I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. <laughs> the plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. The rest of us should be enough of a distraction to the Zeniths for you to hack into their network undetected. But you'll have to be quick, in case they do. Uh, what exactly do you expect me to find, Aloy? I don't know. The truth, if we're lucky. Once all this is over, will you go back across the ocean? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more worried I become. If I go back, I don't even know if they'd let me keep this focus you gave me. Or mm. what they'd do to me for reading what is clearly forbidden data. Even if I somehow were allowed to carry on my duties as a diviner, would I be willing to let the truths I've learned about the ancestors mm -hmm. be buried away by the Board of Overseers? Would I dare challenge them and risk my family's safety? Or losing Fadera? That is really tough. Especially with how fanatic some of them seem. Who's this Fadera you mentioned? She is another diviner. One of our best. We used to be rivals at the academy. <laughs> I hated her guts. But apparently there is a fine line between hate and love. We became very close, and then I was assigned to the expedition. She promised she'd wait for me, no matter how long it took. No. Well, that was smart of her. She won't do any better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I want you to know I'm glad you're with us, Alva. Whatever happens, I'm grateful that the legacy brought us together. I never thought I'd get to actually meet an ancestor. Come on, do I look that old? <laughs> Katala will protect you inside the Zenith base. I'm not afraid. I know Katala will fulfill his duty, as will I. If we die doing so, at least it'll be alongside a friend. I'd rather you both stay alive. I know, everyone's... Right. God. We'll <laughs> try and that keep everyone, that in mind. Please. I need to get going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory. Hmm. Wait, Katalo first. Oh god, not the tree. <laughs> Hi. So, how are we feeling about the mission? I do not know everything that you have planned. But it doesn't matter. All that remains is to follow you to the end. Whatever that will be. Thank you. See, this Katalo. is what trust looks like. I'm glad all this <laughs> brought us together. You brought us together. And I am grateful, too. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping now would be a good time to go back to the Tremor Tusk site and test my new arm before we leave on our mission. Right. Ooh! I'll let you know when I can make my way there. Thank you. Yes. Now. Right now. Now that training time is over, what's on your mind? The Bulwark, the Kulrut, and how we need another miracle if we're to survive the Zenith base. I'll try not to let you down. I know you will not. We didn't really get to talk about what happened at Gemini. There was nothing more to say. If he were to knock, Varl's bravery would have earned him sacred burial at the Grove, among the most distinguished of our tribe's warriors. His deeds were worthy of the Ten. When the fight is done, I will have the Inkers etch his memory on my Aww. skin, so that it may live on. I'm That's sure so he'll be on it. My heart. <laughs> I'll see you soon then. It will be yes, my honor. at the Tremor Tusk night, because <laughs> I'm definitely doing that before. <laughs> are you kidding me? One last go. There you are. Hi. <laughs> Would you like to continue our chat? I'm still a little... Okay, bye. <laughs> I should be going. <laughs> I'll be making final preparations. It's a little suspicious of her. We're going. 
<laughs> it's like, are you sure? It always stresses me out. But yes, I am sure. Okay, everyone. I've done all I want. I'm at the to rendezvous do. point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. It is time. It is time to destroy them. <laughs> oh damn! I waited for a long Aloy. time. Punctual. Where are the others? Not far behind. <laughs> she really does not. <laughs> Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. <laughs> are we all here? Then let's begin. Oh. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. Mm. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? Okay. Guess we are going. I'm excited. I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Hmm. Erend, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need covering fire. You know what? Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? It wouldn't surprise me if they would. There's a sensor node nearby. Together. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Hey, boy. We're here. And we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. No. Be careful. Let's go. <clears throat> it's time. Ooh. Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Company, follow my lead. That's what I do. Bridgewater is the wrong ammo for that. Where's the other one? Let's see. Corruption, you say? But I do have that. Pick it up. If you need it. Not fear, but it'll do. Boom! Yeah, run away. Take this and take him down. Come here. Boom! <laughs> what is he trying to give me? Boy, I went over him. Incredible. That's a quick way to take it down. Jesus. Nice oh, I wanted that. Ah, it's mine. Where's the other one? I think there's a cave up there that might get us through that. Let's climb up to it. I 
Damn it. I completely missed. We don't talk about this. Damn, I do damn miss. Oh. I think we got it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> Find anything? Yeah. Let me just grab these, even though I'm fine. We'll need them. Okay, wait, where are we? Oh, there we go. I was like, it's gotta be a way up. Through here. What's in this backpack, metal bricks? <laughs> Alva and I are closing in on the regulator. Keep me posted. It's creepy in here. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> oh, how cute! Yeah, I wish I had a glider. <laughs> I guess I'll find another way. <laughs> now I feel bad. <laughs> Dead machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Ooh. Another specter. Sneak or fight. You choose. Now you know what I choose. I choose a fight every single time. Oh, look at that thing fitting away. Oh, oh actually. Oh. Aloy's under attack! Cover her! Ah, Hi guys. You guys are helping. You need some ammo? Hey, what's this? Ah. Hit me beats hammer. Ah. Ah. What hit me? Oh. Me getting beat up. Oh, oh what looks is? Looks like Zoe's giving us some supporting fire. Hell yeah. Oh, that was a decent shot, I guess. It's better than any Osiram. No, oh my god. When will you two get along? I hope never, because I love your look. banter. A little. Okay, maybe this one? Tired yet? Yep. <laughs> Metal flower. Yeah! Clear those weeds! Yeah. Weed Whacker 9000. I grab it if you need it. Inspectors are good sports. We can take this one, Aloy. Keep moving. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> the specter. That stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate stormbirds. <laughs> but I guess uh, yeah, dead ones handy enough. Oh my god, I almost didn't make that jump. <laughs> I hate stormbirds too. <laughs> hey, you remember the good old days when? Our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed. <laughs> you know, instead of the whole world. You know. Oh yeah. Good times. This looks too. Uh, more specters. I'll attack the mute. They are really weak to it. Yeah. Get the fumes in your eye. Let's get Bottoms up. Now this is why I can't hold on. Ah, ah. Now they're hurt. Can't beat. Ah. Oh, there's another one. Don't get that stuff on you. Ah, oh, they stuck that one. Right into the wall. Ouch. Go away. Yeah. Such an awkward incline to fight. Oh, 
I think that's all of them. Right. Let's push on. Maybe <laughs> here at least. I didn't mean to grab on, I was just jumping. What do you get? Just some parts. Okay, now where? This way? Yeah. Here, up this rock. We're gonna have to climb around this corner. Well, I'm trying not to complain. <laughs> you are I doing that heavy lifting. Forward. I keep moving. Going as fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. Oh god, I'm gonna get shot as I go around this right now. Nope, I'm good. How many spectres do the Zeniths have? Infinite. Literally. Well, then we want to fight at once. That's for sure. This is kind of strong. What is that? Are you like Spectre Team? This will help. You got its weak spot. Go boom! We need to get over there. <laughs> Come on, up the slab. Looks like the others have things under control. Go up this one. He's already made it over there. I don't even know when he got over there. Hey, Lloyd. <laughs> Alva and I are in position. Do it. Blow the regulator. A moment while I ignite the charge. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> shit. I didn't know that was trigger cussing. <laughs> Alpha and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Holy shit. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. But they're so cute. Time that we don't have. Come on, Beta. Come on, come on, come on. No. <laughs> what is that? Our army. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I think you got their attention. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster <laughs> and more powerful than any cauldron. And now we can crank our machines to its heart's content. Um. I could be using it that way. <laughs> Jesus. We gotta go. Come on. Let's get to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. Grabbed it once, we'll get it again. We'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. Of the Apollo database. Hmm. Where are we going? Down here? Oh. Where are we? Hey, you okay? Yeah. I'll find a way back up. Oh, we're not. Okay. I was very confused on where I was supposed to go. <laughs> I'm like, where are we going? This game doesn't tell you like the Zero Dawn did. So I get so lost sometimes. Not knowing where Aloy, to go. <laughs> in case we don't make it. Mm -hmm. I just have one regret. What, what is, is that? That we had to do all this climbing. 
That a big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. That one? So we're jumping down? Okay. I guess not all the specters are fighting our machines. Ah, oh, that would have made it nice and easy. I can take you. Oh, look at that thing missing away. Oh. I think I can handle it. I think. To the right? Oh, this way? <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. To the left. I'd be so lost. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy! Another one? By the blood of the ten! It's here when you want it. It's not oh, here, hi. but it'll do. Wait, what? Get the fuse in your eye. <laughs> okay, listen, I was trying to pick up this. Oh, okay. And then we're in the boom. Eh, that's not that good. I thought that was gonna be better than it was. It was terrible. He got his weak spot. Good work, everyone. Nice. Let's go. I was hoping that it would be better. <laughs> but since I had the corruption, I didn't want to do that. Oh hi guys. Not the way. Up here? Follow me. Oh, hi. Let's go. Whoa. Look at all this zenith space stuff. Zenith balls. Yes. Of course. Whoa. It does look cool. This is the death I was promised. Go! Oh my god. May Regala return peacefully to the cycle. Please. She cared nothing for peace. At least she died on her own terms. Not as her puppet. Mm -hmm. Aloy, it's been intense. But Catalo got me to a network node. I'm trying to get in. Nice. Keep at it. We're almost to the tower. So a lot of valuables you guys got locked in here. We're almost there, maybe. Oh, <laughs> hey, that happened to me. Ah. 
Ah, now we know who's been causing all the fuss. Tilda's little pet. Okay. I'm gonna have to fight the hard now. Jesus. Silence. Zenith inbound. Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless. You can't hurt us. Face it. Your worms that ooze to the cracks into our basement. Silence. One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No. Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light them up! Are we supposed to be scared? Hmm. Watch him run. He seems to be like that little kind of bitch. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Leaving everyone else behind. Why am I not surprised? We can't let Gerard escape. It won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? I fail to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready? Ready. Let's go. Get to the top and secure Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. All in style. <laughs> oh, I'm going. I gotta get to the top of the tower and free Beta. Hey, look. Hollow fighting is my favorite. We're okay. As long as all the hurry. It's always been my favorite. I'm almost into the network. Just do the best you can. Ooh, fancy chest. What's this? Okay, an elevator. Promising. Big ass elevator. Oh my god, it kind of looks like Moe's elevator. Oh! <laughs> shit. <laughs> I didn't think you'd come back. You got some unfinished business, little girl. Yeah, and now you're not invincible. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh. I don't need a shield to take you out. Trust me. You're gonna wish you had one. Mm-hmm. I've been looking forward to this for a while. <laughs> Wait until I get that helmet off of you. Okay. Now what? Got the helmet off you. I'm taking you down! Aloy, are you there? I'm on my way to help. Just need to find my way in there. He's weak. 
There's nowhere to hide. <laughs> You're weak. I almost forgot what it was like to hurt. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Now we're having fun. Right? Oh. oh, she probably watched it. You okay? I will be. In time. No. <laughs> Good. Go. Rescue your sister. I'll regroup with the others and make sure they're all right. Let's go. It's time. He thought he was tough shit. He was weak. <laughs> Get my arrows ready. Craft it. Oh shit. Fuck. This is awkward. Oh, I could just bring it down to this level. I thought we were getting off there. We're not gonna talk about that. So that's what this button's for. I see. <laughs> I had to test out the button. It was all theory, of course. Of course. <laughs> it wasn't me jumping off preemptively in excitement. <laughs> Looks like the machine's inspectors have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. What? He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. I guess I'm He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have him. <laughs> oh, there's a way up from here, but yeah, I think we chose correct. Yoink you from here. Yep. Oof, that was way farther than I thought it was. <laughs> It didn't look that Aaron? far. Is everyone all right down there? Uh, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few specters. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Mm -hmm. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, why would they I know, come here, destroy it, and then but leave? There's more. The, fuck? the files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alva? Alva! What's going on here? Maybe Beta can help me figure it out. Nemesis. If she's okay. Leaving Earth. Where are they really running from? Hmm. Hmm. The plot thickens. Oh shit, where's my staircase? Oh. Help. Help. Stick Aloy. Yeah, this is definitely high up. Almost there. Another flight of stairs. Whoops, I got stuck. This is it. End of the line. Fancy door. That's for sure. Are you okay? Look, I, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. The system. 
systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. Did they find something on that planet? Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are... astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? I had a feeling. It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. Mm. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia. Mm -hmm. So you can build yourself a new yep. world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together. Where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth I'm like more than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted but for I'm a not thousand her. years. Now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not crazy. asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. Yeah, no. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Take cover! Get to the door! Sermon Aloy, you can't win. No! Hell? 
I've heard that before. Ask yourself why you're holding back. Damn it. I need to understand that thing first. I gotta get through all that armor before I can do some damage. Like, put the new data in quicker? What is this technology? Corruption, okay. Oh shit, I didn't think it was coming back down like that. Fighting. Yep, Aloy. <laughs> what were we doing on the ground for so long? God, it takes so long to notch an arrow in this bow. It's so awful sometimes. <laughs> I'm like waiting years <laughs> to notch one arrow. There we go. Oh, how did that miss? I can endure. You cannot. I've endured wars for you. <laughs> Take that. I can target its gold plating. Yeah, I'm trying to, but I can't really tell where it's going to be. This specter was designed oh, to survive oh. against more than that. I fought shell snappers worse than you. Okay, let's try to do this again. Sticks and stones against the lightning. Yeah, I kind of dodged the last one. Needed to just stay still for a second. Oh, I'm still out of stamina. Damn it. Okay, whatever. Ha! Those gold <laughs> plates are vulnerable. Jesus. <laughs> I knew it was coming down, but my god. Oh! Yeah, I totally missed that roll. <laughs> You're going down. You're not taking me, Tilda! Just stop! I'm busy making arrows. Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm working? Why? Did I? I can't. <laughs> Let me just make these arrows. Fuck, they take so long. <laughs> they take long to notch. They take long to make. <laughs> My god. I knew you didn't truly want to hurt me. Oh, shit. I was not expecting that much damage. No! Man, I'm just trying to notch an arrow in this bow. I might switch to my other bow because it's probably faster than the gold one. <laughs> Execute attack pattern Sigma! <laughs> so was a mistake. Going down. Nom. Look at this noms I just had. I'll shut you down. Well, that Ooh, did that something. Was, yeah, I was gonna say that did good. Day. Don't make me hurt you. You've been hurting me the whole time. What you mean? <laughs> you crazy bitch. Oh, it's quick. If I could get that shot off on that weak spot, imagine the power. Imagine the damage. This world is finished! There it goes! We must leave together! Oh shit. Dodged right into it. This is awkward. Get away from the bubbles. Maybe I can get another option on it. Strike now! A few more hits. Yep. We 
we will be all that is left of the human race. Yeah, that's a world I don't want to live in. Be completely honest. Die. Nice. <laughs> now you're gonna fight me. Maybe. Look what you got on me. Spectre Prime. God. A thousand years. A thousand years. Jesus. She tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along. What? From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. Everything I did to create the rebel army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And yeah. now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. He wouldn't be one of the you Zenas like that. You so desire. <laughs> I could so see You've that. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Eloy. I don't think she would. Found her. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the ten. Goodbye, Silence. She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. <laughs> you did it. Where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. <laughs> Aaron's like, that sure? sounds good. <laughs> oh? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all the help you can get. Uh, does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, uh, I'd be fine with a nap. <laughs> Excellent idea. <laughs> uh, I hope it's really over this time. Mm. Aww. Mm. 
She knows it's not, but... There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. <laughs> I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. any obstacle. And the resilience to rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone. <laughs> my heart. I was not expecting like I definitely did not trust Tilda but I was not expecting her to be completely obsessed with Aloy you know like I kind of got the feeling that she was um, you know definitely intrigued by Aloy and Beta I mean she even tried to contact but god she was really mean to poor Beta <laughs> lesser form like screw you but I absolutely adored this game so much. It is absolutely stunning game. Like they did an amazing job with the graphics. It is so pretty. Um, they <laughs> they did an amazing job with the world building. It, this world felt huge. I actually wonder how big it is compared to Zero Dawn because it feels enormous compared to Zero Dawn. I loved how more in depth all the side quests were, were i do wish that they had put the side quests like some of them especially a lot of the tanakh ones like the uh draka and yara one i feel like that should have been a main quest you know stuff like that i do wish that was more of a main quest but i mean either way you can do it but it would be like I, playing this game without doing a side quest would be weird <laughs> i don't know if i could do it i'd be so confused like, the world wouldn't make sense. I don't know. It'd be weird. <laughs> it would feel so incomplete. But I guess that is an open world in a sense, huh? But maybe that's just me. The Nemesis. I'm guessing there's going to be a third horizon, given that they talked about Nemesis coming to destroy the planet, which is just lovely. We, we love that. <laughs> Sounds great. Um... <laughs> Like, look at this, it's so gorgeous. This game definitely makes me very happy. <laughs> it's it, like, 
all of the improvements in this game are honestly amazing. Just, oh, it's just so good. And I'm excited for what they have next. I, I remember seeing a VR trailer, actually, now I think about it. I don't know what it's called, but I watched it the other day. I think it was in the state of play thing. Um, that looked interesting. I don't know. I don't do VR, mostly because I don't have it, but it also kind of makes me sick, so I usually don't do VR, but I wonder what that game will be like. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Huge thanks to all my patrons, and I will see you guys in the next playthrough. Goodbye, everyone. We did it, Burl. <laughs> we stopped the Zeniths. We saved life on Earth. Well, Aww. for now, at least. There's another threat coming. I don't know how I'm gonna do without it. But God. We'll face it together. All of us. And that's what he always wanted. Rest easy, my friend. No. <laughs> I'll visit again when I can. Just like Rust, I always will end it here. Varl was like the big reason. <sighs> he was the... I would say... He was, I feel like he was the one that showed Aloy, you don't have to do it alone. And I feel like that was a very common theme in this game. And... It's absolutely amazing. Goodbye, Varl.